let us see how we can be able to install XAM server. Go to Google and type it as XAM for Windows. Then you will be able to see Apache Friends URL and there you can see all the XAM for different operating system. If you're working with Windows machine, you can download the respective Windows version. During the installation steps, you have to take all the default options and click next and finally click on finish. Go to the start option of Windows and open the XAM control panel. You need to start the Apache application server. Go to the browser and type it as localhost. So we will be able to see the default page of the XAM application server page. Now, in order to do our first PHP program by using XAM server, first we are typing the PHP program by using a notepad software. PHP tag starts with less than question mark PHP and ends with question mark and greater than. Inside that PHP tag, we can include the PHP program, the PHP script, Echo statement in PHP can be used to display any information on the browser. While we are saving the file, whichever drive you have installed, go to XAM and in that there is a folder which is named as htdocs. So inside the htdocs, you can create a new folder with your project name or you can directly save your PHP file. So I'm creating a new folder inside htdocs and giving the name of the folder as micro ng and inside the micro ng I'm saving the file with the extension .php so the name of the file is p1.php and that is saved now to see whether it is working go to the browser and type it as localhost localhost followed by the name of the project which is micro ng followed by slash and the name of the file php file p1.php so we can see the output is coming. I love Intia, that is we have echoed by using PHP script. Now, if we want to change some additions to the PHP script in the program, suppose I want to display some more information by using PHP script, we can again use the echo statement followed by the string, what need to be displayed in the browser. So I'm writing echo I love world. The browser and refresh and you can see the output. If you're able to install the XAM server and execute your first program by using XAM server, kindly comment below.